I'm going to uh, share with you uh, three paintings that show you where my primary focus has been from a creative viewpoint. I would like this painting someday to be in a church where the baptismal font is in the front of the church as you enter. And quite often there will be a choir loft above it. I'd like to see that above where the one would receive the sacrament of baptism. I had a vision of this painting in church. And then in the process of creating it, I had a lady who was very ill with cancer over, and she had wanted to study with me. So I had her over, but I thought she could be at the loft area and look down, but she could not. So she laid down in the living room. I had to bring all my paint up. There was something as to how would this be in reference to the vision I had was of, of a font of water flowing over. And I brought all my paints up. And in the bottom, of the box. There was a scallop shell, which is very similar to what you'll see in the background of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's a scallop shell. You'll find that shell also on the way of St. James. And that became the concept of how the water would flow over. I've been far more involved with the uh, spiritual side of creativity and the work that I do with people who are ill and rest homes and sometimes the homeless. I feel that in a way I'm on God's auto compass. I will go where I am to go and do what I am to do. And there are times when I cannot walk well, then I figure that must be the time that I must do more work on my home page or compose a song or and I will compose, put it on a loop and sing while I'm working on a painting. So I wrote a prayer for this, and it goes like this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children, while we stand beneath the living water, having bodies and souls bathed and cleansed by the Holy Spirit's grace. Then with open hearts may we joyfully accept the power and glory of God's perfect healing love. Heal thy brethren, Lord, if it be thy holy will. I brought this painting into rest homes, into hospitals. There are times when I know I can feel that somebody might be very ill. And sometimes I will know who, other times I, I will go and visit all of the various places that I go. And I might do that for five hours or more. Count them into fives as Christ's five sacred wounds. And I do have a problem with a dislocated bone. It's, and when I do this, it starts coming back, but that's fine. Now I'm going to share another painting with you. The idea of this is I would like somebody to purchase this work to help me continue my work. I'm constantly being, one might say, uh, faced with the possibility of foreclosure on my home. And lately, I've been filling out these papers for a uh, some form of uh, change in, 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 in the setup uh, and the uh, but they keep on sending me saying I have to do it again because I didn't circle my social security deposits an eighth grader could find them there are not that many deposits in the first way but and there are other things last time I got so annoyed I started getting some chest pains 
but it made me think perhaps that they were turning up the pressure on me and normally I just wait to the last minute and uh, God always takes care of me and I, and I really don't care. I'm, I'm, I will go where I am meant to go and do what I am meant to do. Now, once again, I would like somebody to perhaps think in terms of purchasing this work as a memorial to a loved one who's gone on to the next world. And what could be better than to have a memorial over a baptismal font where you have the joy of, of a new soul being accepted and raised by the Holy Spirit and God to the spirit of joy that you find in loving God.